I turn to Steve Vonner. We were talking in this video about the BSA and one thing you may encounter if you have software licensing shortages. So look, real quick, let's head to the Attorney Steve software whiteboard. Okay, so we're going to come up here. This is called unbundling and some, some people may say this is a little a little shifty how they do it if you're short on software, but you know, we've done videos on the BSA. What is the BSA? It's the Business Software Alliance. It's a trade group that may come get you if your company is not using software legally, it's making illegal copies, using copies without paying for it. This is what I call unbundling. This is something that will pop up, okay? So say you have Microsoft, you have, let's say you have 100 users, but you have Microsoft Office, you're missing it on 20 of the computers, okay? So you got 20, you got 20 computers that, that have the Microsoft Office, but no license. You can't find the license. You don't know. Maybe it was one of your informants stole the license and they took it and now they're trying to claim a reward, claiming you don't have any receipts. You know, um, so say you have 20, but you have a Microsoft Office shortage. Now we're going to use just some general numbers here, so don't get alarmed if this is not to the dollar what these things are going for. But say you have Microsoft Office shortage. There's our, there's our software installed on the computer there. You got it. You can't find the receipts. You can't find the approved receipts from the vendors proving that you paid for the software. So you're short. You're short 20 licenses, okay? According to the BSA and other software um, companies, software designers and whatnot, that's infringement, federal copyright infringement. So you're using this software with no proof that you paid for it. And one thing you'll find out incidentally when you get into one of these audits is that the burden will be on you to prove your licensing. Okay, the burden's on you to prove that you properly license what you're using. So say you're short, I'm going to just pick a number, say, say these are worth 200. Let's just say 200 for easy numbers. So it's $200 to buy the software and properly license it, but you don't have it. $200, and let's say, let's just say you're going to pay a penalty of three times. It's a triple, and again, I'm pulling these out of the hats. Uh, these are negotiable. This is why you want to get skilled counsel in to help you with these intellectual property cases. So say it's 200 and let's say you're paying three, a three times multiplier, three times. So obviously you got 600 bucks there, okay? So then you should say, well, I'm paying 600 times 20 and what's that, 12,000. So I should be paying $12,000. Now what the BSA might say is no, no, that would have been the case had you bought the, the Microsoft Office, had you bought that, of course it includes all these wonderful little, little packages like Word and Excel and PowerPoint, Access Exchange Outlook. So, but sure, that would be if you bought it all, if you properly paid for it, sure, that's what it would be. But because you're an infringer, a copyright software pirate, you know, we're gonna break it down. We're gonna unbundle we're going to unbundle. So now you have Word, you have Excel, you owe us for that, you owe us for that. Let's just use a number 80. Okay, so this uses $80 a copy. This is just, again, just picking random numbers. 80 bucks for the Word, you owe us 80 for the Excel, 80 for the PowerPoint, 80 for the Outlook, 80 for the Access, 80 for the Exchange, and I think there's one or two other um, software programs in Office in, in, in the package here. So, but if you add up all that, you know, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. So now you get to 480. And if you do the same three times multiplier that we did here, now you're coming up with 1440. So it's quite a difference between 600 over here and 1440 over here. In fact, it's over double. So your 12,000 here can turn to 24,000 or more here. So you see how unbundling can increase your damages in a software licensing case. So it's really important to get counsel in, to get this multiplier down, to make these arguments for you, to, to evaluate and explore all your potential defenses, and that's what we can do, okay? If you need more information, you can find us at softwareauditlawyers.com. That's softwareauditlawyers.com. And we offer flow, low flat rate fees for most of our cases, not all. But most of our cases, we offer a low flat rate fee that helps you get through this process in, with a limited amount of exposure. Okay, Attorney Steve Vonner, and thanks for listening. Feel free to share these videos on your social media networks. We'll talk to you again.